Okay, everybody, I, I'm going to try and go through the uh, proportioning problems that I, I gave out in class the last time we met. I know we went through the first two of these problems, but I'll try and uh, go through them again. This is uh, something I've used uh, to try and demonstrate this idea of proportioning. Uh, it's a pretty important concept in surveying, and uh, I just wanted uh, to read from the very beginning here. It says, uh, here are three proportioning problems. The first uses double proportioning to establish a lost interior uh, corner to four sections. Uh, double proportioning is applied when there are record and measured distances in each of four directions from a corner that has been declared lost and must be reestablished. And that's this problem uh, right here where we're trying to determine uh, the lost corner to common to sections uh, 8, 9, 17, and 16. And then the last two problems uh, are problems that are both uh, single proportioning problems in urban subdivisions. Um, so let's uh, sort of dive into this. This first one obviously is these are four sections. The only tricky thing here is that um, while he did give us the record uh, distances here that the original surveyor measured for these two lines, he didn't tell us these two. and. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what they would be. This one uh, would be exactly 80 chains, and this one here, half a mile, would be exactly 40 chains. So that we'll do that one first because that's a little easier. But again, this is part of the United States Public Land Survey System. And by the way, um, one chain is equal to 66 feet exactly so uh, we'll keep that in mind so let's just dive into the very first problem here where he says uh, compute the coordinate to reestablish the lost corner to sections 8 9 16 and 17 so that's right here well uh, to establish the northing we're going to proportion between these two corners remember I said those two distances would have been 80 and 40 exactly and then to calculate the easting coordinate, we would proportion between these two found corners. This is really pretty simple. We'll just dive into it. Um, let's do the uh, northing first because that's uh, a little bit easier. Easier. Okay, I'm going to start with the northing of uh, the more southerly corner. Um, which is right here, and that's going to be 1,000.00, and I'm going to add to that. Uh, the proportion will be 80 over 120 times the change in northing between those two points, which is going to be 9,072.62 that's the northing of this point minus the northing of the more southerly corner, 1,000. And if we calculate that out, we should get uh, a northing coordinate of 6381.75. The easting is pretty much the same. This time I'm going to work from west to east instead of from south to north because that's the direction in which eastings increase. So I'm going to start with that uh, northwest corner of section 17 and the easting is 2680.56 and I'm going to add, uh, now it, my uh, proportion is going to be 81.37 divided by 
Uh, if I add those up, that's going to be 161.46. 161. Point forty six, and then in these parentheses here is my change in easting. So it's going to be uh, thirteen thousand six forty nine point one three minus twenty six eighty point five six. And that should give us an easting of, let's see, um, 8208.32. So uh, this is my northern coordinate, this is my easting coordinate, and that gives me the horizontal position where I would reestablish this corner. Now, the interesting thing to note is that that coordinate pair probably does not lie on either one of these straight lines between found corners. Um, so, okay, that's problem one. Let's go to problem two. Problem two is a little bit tricky. They, they tried to trick you here by including something you don't need, which is this corner right here. Um, by the way, there's a, uh, a typo here. This is supposed to be um, lost, the lost corner common to uh, lots 4, 5, 8, and 9. So actually, that's the one we're trying to reestablish. So it should be uh, 4, 5, 8, and 9. Now this is just a single proportioning problem. Um, let's see here. If we, uh, let's see, well we can do it the same way. We can just say uh, the northing is going to be uh, 100 Point two six plus um, one fifty divided by two sixty five times the change in uh, northing between the two points, which is going to be. Uh, 100.17 minus 100.26. Notice that what's in parentheses right here is a negative number. And then if we go ahead and calculate what that would be, we get a northing of 100.21, I believe. The easting is pretty much the same. I'm going to uh, start with the easting of the northeast corner of lot 12, which is 150.08. And I'm going to add to that same ratio, 150 divided by 265 times the change in easting, uh, which will be 4. 15.79 minus 150.08. And that should give us uh, an easting of 300.48. So there's my northing, and there's my easting. And that proportioned coordinate should lie on the straight line between those two found corners. So the idea here is that if there's excess or deficiency in our measured distances, um, it, gets, it gets proportioned out evenly uh, between the different lots. 
Now this last one's a little bit harder because uh, the idea here is that with roadways, like we've got this road here, um, and also an alley, and those are both considered public rights of way. Um, it's not very good drawing, but whoops. Uh, those public rights of way cannot be proportioned. They have to remain at exactly uh, 40 feet for Rolla Road and 20 feet for the alley. So, at least in most cases, uh, those uh, those street widths will remain what they were originally platted as. So the first step would be to try and determine what's the distance, what's the uh, measured distance between these two found corners. And of course that's just a, a matter of inversing between coordinates. If we just want to know the distance, um, let's see, we could set up something like this. Our measured distance is equal to the square root of um, uh, the change in northing, which is just going to be uh, 5.62 squared plus the change in easting, which is, I don't know, I don't have a calculator with me right now, so it's going to be 600.00, uh, sorry, um, Zero zero minus two ninety three point sixty five, and that should be uh, two forty six point four zero. So you can see that the the record distance um, on you know, turned in by the original surveyors, if we add up all these numbers, there's 200, 250, 290, uh, I'm looking at my notes here, and I see what I did wrong. Uh, this is actually going to be a, a different number. This is going to be 306.40. 306.40. Okay. So, um, I just added up these numbers, and we have a record uh, distance here of 310 and a measured distance of 306.40. So there's a deficiency here. There's a short, we've measured a shorter distance than the record. Now the idea is we have to distribute it only, uh, no, we cannot uh, proportion the, the rights of way. So the one they asked us for, I believe, is reestablish the northwest corner of block two. So that's this point right here. So all we really have to do is determine what's the proportion length of block one right here. Um, and to do, to do that, we're going to say that um, we'll just set up a simple uh, proportion. I'll say that the proportion length Uh, divided by 100 is equal to, well, the only, if I add up uh, let's see here, 
the measured length is uh, is going to be 306.40 minus 60. So um, that's going to be 246.40. 246.40 uh, divided by the record length, which is 250. You see, the 246.40 comes from that. Here's the total distance between the two corners, but I'm, I'm subtracting out the 40 and the 20 from that because I can't proportion through those streets. So I can proportion 246.40. Um, so anyway, if we go through this and we calculate what the proportion length is going to be, uh, it's going to be equal to uh, 246.40. Point forty times a hundred divided by two fifty. And that ends up being uh, ninety eight point five six. And so then we just go through the same process. Um, only uh, the distance that we'll be using will be uh, 98.56 plus 40, um, and that's going to equal 138.56. So my northing is. Uh, Let's see, I gotta go back up here. That's gonna be uh, 805.62 138.56 divided by 306.40. That's my proportion times the change in northing, which I think I can just look at these coordinates. 805.62 to 800 is negative 5.62. And if we calculate that out, that's going to be uh, 803. Point zero eight, and the easting quite similar. My easting coordinate here is uh, two ninety three point sixty five. Plus, same ratio, 138.56. Now my change in easting is 600 minus 293.65. And that should equal uh, 432.19. OK, so that's um, three different proportioning problems. Um, I'd like you guys to write this out in your own writing. Um, I'm sorry for if I'm, I'm not really completely used to this software yet, but uh, 
thanks for bearing with me and then if you could if you could turn this in on uh, Wednesday evening that would be great uh, so you guys stay safe out there and I'll I'll see you hopefully on Wednesday at 5 okay thanks <laughs>